So let us solve this problem about compression members. The W200 by 46.1 wide flange A992 steel column can be considered pinned at its base, pinned at its top, and fixed at its base. Also, the column is braced at its mid height against weak axis backing. The properties are given. So, for the first problem, which of the following most nearly gives the slenderness ratio with respect to strong axis? Considering backlink, we have two primary axes for backlink. So that is the backlink about strong axis and then backlink about weak axis. So for strong axis, that is the axis with larger moment of inertia. So in this case, since the moment of inertia is not given, so we will base it on the larger radius of creation. So the support conditions of the column is that pinned at the top and then fixed at the base. So this is now our column. So meaning if this will buckle, so it will buckle like this. So this is the buckling about x-axis. And then for the weak direction, so we will have the same support condition. According to the problem, there is a bracing at its mid-height. So due to the bracing at mid-height, this point will be considered as pin. Okay? So this is now 6 meters and 6 meters. This is 12 meters. Okay, so for the first problem, we are asked to solve for the slenderness ratio with respect to the strong axis, in which the strong axis in this case is the x-axis. So let us solve for the slenderness ratio that is KL over R with respect to x. So take note, K is the effective length factor. If we have a pin support and a fixed support, the corresponding theoretical effective length factor is 0 0.7. And then the length is 12, so we convert it into millimeters so that the, so that the unit of length and radius of gyration are uniform. For the radius of gyration, we have 88.1. So let us solve. We have 95.3461975. Okay? And that is letter D. Problem 2, which of the following most nearly gives the slenderness ratio with respect to weak axis? So for the weak axis, that is Y axis. So in this case, we will now investigate which among the two segments has the larger effective length. So for the upper part of the column, KL is simply equal to, take note, since this is pin support, and then the point of bracing is also considered as pin. Therefore, our K for the upper segment is 1.0 times 6 meters. So we have 6. And then for the lower segment of, of this column, we have a pin support and then peak support. So K will be 0 0.7 and that is 4.2 meters. So therefore, the larger effective length is 6 meter. So we will use this in determining the slenderness ratio with respect to y-axis. We have 1.0 times 6,000 divided by the radius of gyration with respect to y. That is 51.3. So let us solve this one. We have 116. Point nine five nine zero six four three, okay, and that is letter A. Problem three: Which of the following most nearly gives the critical buckling stress of the column? So before we compute for the critical buckling stress, so we should compute first for the Euler's buckling stress, Fe. Take note that. F sub E is based on the larger 
slenderness ratio. So the formula for F sub E is pi squared E over KL over R squared. This KL over R is the governing slenderness ratio. And take note that the governing slenderness ratio is the largest slenderness ratio. In which case, that is KL over R with respect to Y. So we substitute pi squared E. The modulus of elasticity of steel is 200,000 megapascal. And then we will use the largest slenderness ratio squared. Therefore, we, we now have the Euler's buckling stress. The Euler's buckling stress is 144.298.5511 megapascals. And then, we can now compute the critical buckling stress FCR. But take note, FCR is based on two conditions. I mean, there are two conditions that indicate on what formula of FCR to be used. So as you can see, based on the ratio of FY and FE, there is a corresponding formula for FCR. So if we have FY over FE less than or equal to 2.25, it means that the formula of FCR is this one. And then if FY over FE is greater than 2.25, this is the formula of FCR to be used. So first, we need to compute the ratio of FY over FE. Take note, in the problem, the steel use is A992. So for A992 steel, the value of FY is 345 megapascals. Okay, so we have 345 divided by FE. That is... 2.39087. Since this is greater than 2.25, the corresponding formula of FCR is 0 0.877 of FE. And then let us compute for this one. So 0 0.877 of FE, that is equal to 126.5498. Letter B. Problem 4, which of the following most nearly gives the nominal compressive strength of the column? So for the nominal compressive strength of the column, that is simply FTR times A sub G. So we already know the value of FCR, that is 126.5498293. And the value of the gross area is 5890. Therefore, we can now compute for the nominal compressive strength, and that is 745-378.4947 Newton. Okay, so dividing this by 1,000 gives us 745.378.4947 kilonewton. Problem 5. Which of the following most nearly gives the allowable compressive strength of the column. So for the allowable compressive strength, it means that we will use ASD. So we just need to divide P sub N by the factor of safety. And the factor of safety for compression members is 1.67. Therefore, the allowable compressive strength is 446.334-4279 kN.